Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different, a little weird because I'm doing it for my science class. Uh, it's currently not outside, which is why the light probably looks pretty bad in here, but today's video is going to be explaining the science behind petri dishes and how they work. So let's get right into it. So the way a petri dish works is you have a lid right here. You can see that. It's kind of like this. And you have a bottom plate that contains a substance, uh, kind of gel-like, known as agar. And so what the agar is, is it is basically made up of algae and proteins, just things like that, that the bacteria feed on. And so the purpose of a petri dish is to take a cotton swab, rub, you know, your keyboard, your hand, the inside of your cheek, like you do at a doctor's appointment, and then rub it on the agar. And what this does is it essentially gives the bacteria an ideal place to grow and reproduce themselves because they have a virtually infinite food source because while this doesn't look like much agar, it is enough to feed quite a lot of bacteria as you know, of course, they're very small. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be swabbing my keyboard with a cotton swab, putting it on this agar plate, and then we're going to be putting it in the closet and I will check back in with you in about a week, just under a week, and we will see how it's grown. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a cotton swab. I'm going to wet it because that's what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to wipe it on these keys of my keyboard, and we're going to see how much bacteria grows after a week. And this is an experiment that actual scientists do to study how bacteria grows, uh, and you will be able to actually physically see the bacteria in a week. So let's go do the cotton swab really quick, and then I will check back in with you in a week. Okay, so first off, my apologies about the bad lighting in here. It is nighttime, and I do have my RGB lights on, but it is still not really enough to make it for the glow of daytime. So anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cotton swab. These will come with your packet of Petri dishes. You're gonna dip it in your water source of choice. Make sure it's relatively clean. This is just my water bottle. I know the water in there is clean, so it's fine. Swirl it around, you'll be able to feel the water on it. Ah, that's my cute, <laughs> that's my cute to pack it. Uh, you know, it'll be a little drippy, but it doesn't have to be completely soaking. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to get the excess water off of that, just like so. And then you're gonna swab those keys on your keyboard or wherever, it could be the inside of your cheek, it could be wherever place that you want to find out, okay, what bacteria is on here. So we're gonna swab the W key, we're gonna roll it around, get it all nice and in there. And we're gonna repeat that for all four of the keys. Do the D key because if you play PC games, you will know that these are the movement keys, and so these are the ones that you will hold the most by far. So you're gonna swirl it around, make sure you get some on the tip, completely get all those. And the next part I'm not going to talk because you're not supposed to actually talk when you open this lid because you can contaminate it with your molecules from your breath, because yes, that is how far your breath part uh, particles will travel. Uh, so I'm going to open the lid and then I'm going to rub this cotton swab all over. And so what that's going to do is it's going to give the bacteria a really good, really nice feeding ground for them. And I'll explain the next steps after that. Take your Q-tip. Rub it all over. And put the lid right back on. Okay, now I can talk. So after you've done that, you're going to want to actually flip this over. And the reason for that is because if you have it normally with the agar on the bottom, uh, the moisture will collect on the top and then it will fall onto the bacteria below. And you don't want that because it can actually harm them quite a bit. So what you want to do is you want to flip it over so the agar is on top. This won't affect the bacteria at all. And then you're going to put it in a box. And the reason for this is coming out. So you're going to put it in a box and you're going to get old socks, maybe some sweaters, just insulation basically. You're going to put it in a box or a bag and then get some insulation over it and then put it in a dry, warm place, like your closet. 
And the reason for this is because these bacteria will not grow, or any bacteria will not grow on the agar if the temperature is not over a certain amount. And so once you do that, you wait a week and after that, you can take it out and you can look at the growth. And you also need a marker with a Sharpie. And let's wait a week until, you know, about next Friday. So right now I'm going to mark it and I'm going to put it in a box with some socks as insulation. And I'm going to put it in my closet over there. So I will check back in with you in a week. Okay, so I have taped it shut, I have marked it, and I have left it in a box for a week. And a lot of you might find this amount of bacteria growth kind of disgusting. Uh, it is daytime now, so the lighting is a lot better. Um, I think uh, it's pretty fascinating. So you can see all the bacteria growth all over there. That's all where I swabbed. This is actually one of the worst petri dishes in terms of bacteria growth because I have two others that I also made here. And this one is by far the best. So this I took from the inside of my cheek. Um, and it has just a little bit of growth. You know, you can see some spots there, but it's really not too bad compared to the keyboard one, um, which is good. I don't want that many bacteria inside my cheek, even though they're totally natural. Now this one is a good example of why you should wash your hands because this side is taken from a clean hand. This is after I wash my hand. This is how much bacteria growth is on there after a week. I'll show you, so you can get a little closer. So. It's very reflective, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can probably get an idea, if the camera will focus, of um, how much bacteria go through it. And this side is from a dirty hand. So you can already see that the clusters are much denser, and they're much larger, there's a lot more of them. If you look at them combined, you can clearly see the right side has a crap ton more bacteria. And here's the thing, any one of these bacteria could represent the coronavirus on your hands, so obviously you want to have less and less of them. While these are bacteria, they can still kind of represent viruses in this case. And so you can see a clean hand here and a dirty hand here. So the dirty hand, I would say, is at least two times as dirty as the clean hand. There's a lot more bacteria growth on here. Um, and so this is why washing your hands is the most effective way, besides social distancing, to help stop the spread of coronavirus. because. You can clearly see the results here that there's a lot more bacteria on this dirty hand. Anyways, yep, so that's the keyboard growth. That is probably the densest. Those are really, really concentrated around the swabs. They're very, very kind of thick in growth. And uh, a lot of you definitely might find this disgusting, but I find it pretty cool. So you have a lot of growth there, and you have a lot of growth on the dirty side, not so much the clean side, which is good. That's proving why washing your hands is so important. And then you have the cheek one. And uh, yeah, this is a cool experiment you can do at home. If I get some comments about it, I can link like 20 bucks for like 10 Petri dishes and enough cotton swabs to do them all. It's really, really cheap. It's really, really cool. It's a fun science experiment you can do at home to grow your own bacteria. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you learned something about Petri dishes today and I will see you in the next vlog.